Hello everybody, Red here, and I'm with Draco, and we're doing another Artist Showcase. This week we're doing Mortimer, also known as Cat Gecko, on the Google Pluses. And yep. uh, Draco will take this away, because Draco knows more about Mortimer than I do. Yeah. Sorry, uh, excuse me real quick. Anyway, Mortimer. Uh, they're a very good artist, and I've known them for a few months. They were actually, he was actually suggested to me through, uh, well, mention again, Wolfie Blue, because they got some art done by this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yay, another shout out for him. He'll be so excited. This episode brought to you by Wolfie Blue. Actually, yes, otherwise I would never know about him. Every episode is, is is brought to you by Wolfie Blue. Just, <laughs> just gonna put that down in a little corner. Uh, well, anyway, uh, for their art, they're well. They say they're trying to be modest and say that they don't deserve the attention they're getting. But as you can see from the very first piece of art, circle, the cabbage circle. Yes, there is a very there is a lot of detail that goes into it, and actually, what's great about it is they just use Photoshop and use the pencil tool to get the detail. There's like, I guess you could say there is shading. I don't know the techniques fully, but from what I've heard, it's just Photoshop to make this stuff. There is shading. Um... I don't know if that's just like pencil. And it like blends into it, or if that's actual shading added in afterwards. Uh, there's, uh, from what I've seen of watching, actually watching Nova do artwork, it's a mixture of outline. So it starts off with a base skeleton. You can actually kind of see a little bit of the base skeleton in the circle, the little pencil outlines around the the circle, and then uh, he, and then the artist will f uh, fill it in with the colors and the palettes and whatnot and if it depends on how they're going to do it some may do it with a pen as in they're doing more of pen style uh in this case if you say it's pencil then it's going to be more of pencil style um drawing and the color and then they have different layers and then the layers is once they mash all the layers together then it'll come out and it'll be you know different layers i'm guessing that like the yellow layers are different layer to the white to the green to the dark green and then when it gets processed out and then also the artist will shade it in to make it look more um, you know toned and then when it gets mashed all together and printed out into whatever it may be it comes out this way that's kind of how I believe it works because I've watched Nova do it a lot and that's kind of how she does it her style oh yeah um, I can actually say I've seen some of Simon, uh, previous artist Simon streams before and they use Clip Art Studio as well like Nova does and they use the shading tool. Mm -hmm. there's, there's also a, a blending tool which blends in the colors and whatnot as well and it, there's just a whole mess of different tools. Uh, I don't know any of it because I don't do art so yeah. Um, well, we also have the. We also have on the. It says cabbage. We also have the angel dragon and the cat vampire. Do you want to mention either of those before we flip to the second page? Uh, just gotta slowly go through the pictures. Uh, there is the angel dragon. Uh, different form of an angel dragon. Not as cute. Actually, you know, everybody's like, ah, it's cute. An angel dragon. Well, that's what an angel dragon would look. Probably would look like in real life. And then we got the cat vampire. Is that what that is? Uh, yes, vampire cat. Yes. And then we'll be on to the samurai wolf. Or uh, the wolf with the sword. Yep. I'm guessing that's the wolf. Yep, wolf warrior. Okay, speak. Blah, blah. Talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know artists, so I can't. You know, speak uh, I for you. That artist, Vic, but from what I know, they are very nice, and 
actually recently, uh, through my help, I hope I don't get them in trouble with their parents. But they opened up a PayPal of their own, which it won't might not be up on the video right away because they are only 14, so they do have a busy schedule with school and family and extracurriculars, maybe possibly starting a job. So whatever I can find the link to the uh, PayPal, I will be sure to add it in the description. Um, it'll probably be on their FA page when they uh, decide to start doing commission stuff. Uh, we'll get to that near the end. Um, I like the artist style. Um, mm -hmm. It's more realistic, more. Uh, kind of feral, not as a cartoony looking characters. They're not really toony looking. So, going on to like, kind no, of... You're looking at? I'm still looking at the Wolf Warrior. I haven't changed pages yet. Oh. Um, the... F you have me lose my track of thought. Thank you. Sorry. But it's kind of going on to the um, like costume, like the suits themselves. You have the toony suit, and you have the mid uh, semi, and then you have the feral. These are more on the feral, or, or realistic, I should say, not feral, realistic style. Um, it's pretty good for just doing in uh, Photoshop. Because I've heard limitations about Photoshop. Um, it doesn't look like there's limitations, depending on your art style. Hmm. I mean, limitations, we're talking paint.net. Photoshop looks like it actually is really good if you know how to use it. Well, I've heard, like I said, it's it comes down to, as a YouTuber, I have uh, knowledge of different editing softwares out there, but certain softwares work better for certain people. Um, so that's why. And certain softwares are cheaper for certain people as well. So there, are, I've heard there's some limitations in, like, Clip Studio Paint, and there's certain limitations in Photoshop, and there's certain limitations in other projects. It just comes down to what it is. Uh, I think... If you want to get into like 3D art, Photoshop is like non-existent in 3D art. You have to use something like Blender or something totally different. Um, I going on to the Dragon King. King bleh, it's a request. Um, I like this. It's if this is all done by pencil, it's pretty good because he's got to he's got to do all the scaling on this picture and. You oh, know, yeah, also having to go in to do the shadow shadowing, and oh, uh, yeah, I can tell from experience, scales are a complete pain in the ass when trying to draw a reptile of any kind. So the fact they can put that amount of detail in is, is phenomenal. Yep. Moving on to the next picture, uh, it's companions. It looks like just a p straight up pencil drawing. Um, if it's done with Paint.net, uh, paint, Photoshop, then this would probably just be a basic thing before it gets colored in, or the person requested just for. Um, it's a pen draft. Yep, and yeah, and that's actually his Sona right there. There's Sona. One of them is Axius and Friends. Uh, yeah, the bird Thomas. is their Sona, I yeah. think. They're a bird. They're avian. Interesting. Hey. Not very many of them out there. Uh, this is a pen draft. One day they... Sh oh, oh, actually, this is done... Actually, this is traditional artwork. I'm guessing, if I read the, the uh, uh, information right, because it says one day it shall be digitalized. So I'm guessing this is something the artist drew out in class oh, or yeah. something like that and then scanned it into the computer. Technically it's digitalized if you want to get technical but it was originally started out as a traditional artwork and then digitalized by scanning into a computer and so forth. And notice closely their skill will increase because if you look at these early ones you can see all the extra pencil lines and stuff around the edges of the stuff of the uh, figures. Right. Later on you'll see a lot of improvement with stuff like that. Next one we have Crowfix. Uh, this one does not want to zoom in, yeah, so I do apologize for that. 
very good use of color in this one. Yes, um, you'll have to look on their FA page, which will be down in, their, um, in the, in the d uh, description below if you want to see a better picture of it. Um, I'm going to kind of skip on because I can't zoom in on it. And, but yes, very good color usage as well. Next one, we are on the dragon, and it does not want to zoom in either. But Oh, there we go. Now it wants to zoom in. It's like, if you, now I want to zoom in. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say about the dragon is, yeah. Uh, I would never be able to do that. Just looking at the uh, scaled feathers, it's that's intimidating if you try to draw and not have a cluster. It is a Asian or uh, Eastern dragon. Uh, more, it's easy to tell because of the snake-like body uh, than a Western dragon, which is you know the ones you see in How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, and this is exactly what I was talking about. If you notice from the uh, from the sketch, you you get one picture, and then you come to this. There are no like extra lines and stuff. Also, the the black background also helps <laughs> hide that yes. as well. We're gonna go move really on. Really cleaned up to the next one because it's still the same dragon. It's called Dark Dragon, and yes. the difference <laughs> is there's a little more shading. Shading, and there's also a smoky effect underneath it. It doesn't not want like to zoom. Okay, what the hell with you? Uh, next one is Axis in his attire. So this will be um, the artist's uh, OC. Yes, again, and it looks traditional again. There we go. For some strange reason, it didn't want to zoom. Uh, pain, 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 pain. There we go. So comparison, I'm guessing his feathers are more of a coat. Because it's called his attire. So, Yep. The Naked Burb on other times. Okay, next <laughs> one is uh, Protector. This looks like something that was scanned in because you can kind of see a little bit of leather work on the side of the picture. Uh, leather. Or photoed and then put on the computer. I'm going to go on to the next one. So this is all hand pin drawn, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of, there's some red in there. You can oh, look real closely. I, I, as, I can, as we continue on with the pictures, I feel worse and worse about myself. Like, I found an achievement coloring in a face. <laughs> there we go. Um, next one is Dragon Step. Apologies for the echo. Um, which is kind of a little, I like how it's I, I don't know if it's a spectral dragon or an oozing dragon but either way the shading but and the smoke a little undead but effect. that's probably just Skyrim background picket, uh, kicking in well I was also going with the it doesn't matter if it's undead or not I'm just saying it's the. I'm trying to get to the point of the smoke effect uh, yeah, I like the smoke effect. If it's if it's done digitally, I have to pay respect to that because it's hard. It's if it's traditional and it's done with like a paintbrush, it's easier that way. But if it's done digital, I have no words. Well, or a knife, a paint knife, uh, Bob Ross. You know, also mm -hmm. used paint knives was a, um, also made that effect as well. And he went over it with a paintbrush. Next up, we have Dragon Watch, and 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 the thing is, the cool thing. Click to change the view. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. I F think if you uh, keep it zoomed in and you click on the next picture at the bottom, it, it stays zoomed no, in. No, it doesn't. It does for me. That's weird. Anyways. Uh, getting onto this one, you could tell that he's not only. Uh, the artist is more of uh, going for is starting to go into a different style it's not just all pen it's um or pencil it's a lot of the art or the paint brush style i like it make it looks makes it look like an actual painting um i remember draco going hey look what rin did and, and rin did a picture and it's like is that watercolor i says no that's digital if you would have read the description and also looked at it it's most likely digital 
and that's the cool thing about using programs like uh, Photoshop and Clip Studio Art and other ones out there is you can make a digital piece look like something that you either use watercolor or um, traditional paints, oil-based paints, or um, pencil or pen. Okay, we're moving on to the... Oh, uh-oh, we recognize this person. May. The name. Well, there can be a lot May of people. The art should give it away. Uh, series uh, Skull Snatcher. Uh, this might be for someone by the name of Series Mon, but you never know. There's a lot of people out there with different names, and that could be a snake, too. Always <laughs> uh, nice to see a familiar face. Next one, we got Father and Son. This is actually that one that was back in pencil or pen a while ago. Exactly the same one. Yes, and it's a lot. It's actually, I have to say it was a good, it was a good idea to color it in fully because now it's more distinguishable between the two. Apologies for me struggling to try to make this um, <sighs> zoom in. <laughs> But I'm trying my hardest. It just does not want to co cooperate at times. Uh. Okay, next one we're on is the uh, light per, per track. Yeah, that thing. Practitioner. I don't tired. Don't want to. Lower half was a failure, so I just chickened out and post only the top. I can't even see it. Wait, it's loading. And I can get to zoom in eventually. There we go. Kind of cool. Kind of a, a um, um, magic-esque feel to it. Meanwhile, I kill my mic. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. Is a Dolphin Anthro. Uh, first try. Ooh, bubbles. For first try, it's not bad. Mainly because there's not <laughs> very many dolphins out there. Or sea aquatic animals that you see in artwork and art style. Same with birds, I've noticed, too. Just don't lose its nipple ring. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do that reverence. Well, does it at least have the other one on? Okay, let me help you look for the nipple ring. Yes, my boyfriend, the shark, I believe, keeps losing his collar. If I remember that full statement of True Griffin's rant, or True Griffin's story time correctly. Uh... Anyways, uh, some of these artwork you'll also recognize from the uh, podcast. Uh, we were graciously offered artwork from the artist to use um, that he's he, the artist has created. Uh, I like this one, the Wolf Prayer. It's not really good for the YouTube because of the um, darkness <laughs> I've noticed. And I actually sub subscripturally removed it because it was really dark. Actually, pretty good though. Nonetheless, and here we have another dolphin and the uh, kind of another one in progress. Looks like there's an eel. If I can get this thing to frickin' ch yes, I know. Click to change. It does not want to change. There we go. Um, looks like there's an eel with it, a more eel and a dolphin. Yeah, and it looks like. Yeah. I'm sorry, there's something about paintbrush and digital that confuses me and trying to distinguish it too. Next is another dragon. I gotta say, the artist is really good with dragons. Uh, yeah, I remember them telling me they're good with, like, 
feathers and scales, which is kind of weird to hear an artist say that they need to work on fur in the community. Not necessarily. Um, each has their own. I've got to the point where I've given up, folks. So uh, <laughs> if you want Rip. to z uh, zoom in and see a better picture of it, go to the artist's FA page. I do apologize, but I'm getting tired of having to triple freaking click. We'll be here. It'll be 12 hours later. <sighs> here we have Aximus Sketch, the, the head of his, the artist. I don't know why I keep saying his, because everybody's a he to me. There's, there's, I, you know. Uh, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. You could be a dog or a cat. You're still a he, like a dude. I'm on the, I'm, I'm from that era of dude. What's happening, man? And you'd be talking to a girl and be like, uh, I'm a girl. Doesn't matter. Another picture of the Dolphin Warrior. Uh, now it's a warrior. Fascinating. Got the eel there. It looks like another eel snake down at the bottom. Moving on to Jack Skywer. Okay. Well, I like that. Let's see if I can zoom in because I just, I just want to zoom in on that face. That face is... Eh, eh. Face of I'm happy to kill you. Or he, someone told him an actually good joke for change, and he's having a good laugh. You know, you get those every so often. You get them. I do like this one. If I can get it to zoom in, come on. Which one is it? It's the ones of the uh, uh, lizards. The uh, uh, guardians of the unseen. Huh? Guardians of the yes, guardians of the unseen. They look realistic. They look. I had used to have a lizard that looked like that. It was realistically looking. That's why I, uh, I like it. That that actually takes a lot of talent because I've taken a few years of art in school. They were just kind of like gener generic stuff, you know, specialty things. But to do an art piece of characters that are the same color as the background is very risky and very hard to pull off like this. That, that's all I have to say. Ah. Moving on to the next one. Yes. Uh, Axius's Hunger. That's Sorry, just... Sorry, I didn't know if the Skype dropped it then. Creepy. Just, just... The artist is Ooh, so... Some work on the eyes, though. Sona is freaking creepy. It looks like a, it looks like some kind of a raven, crow, undead thing. Yes. Uh, just gonna say raven. Uh, fox head. It looks head. like there's some kind of bestial input on the mouth. Okay. Moving on. We got the fox head. It it looks familiar. I I don't I can't put my finger on it. If you recognize some of these pictures and they're yours, please feel free to let us know down in the comment section below. Because it's the information is, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I did talk to them. They are going to be try to be better at labeling who is what. Get get this zoom in. This one's kind of cool because it's got like some. It's a it looks like a. It's a wolf dragon thing. It's got like magic. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, oh, it's actually named Wolf Thing, too. Yes, I know, I kind of read that. <laughs> oh, with the weird um, ancestral symbols. Runes. Yeah. Your brain, your brain isn't the only one that's dead today. My brain is not dead. Never said it was dead. Oh, okay. My I, brain is dead. I'm tired. There's a difference. We got a s sea dragon. Uh, now that is a rare breed. You see dragons a lot, but you don't see that kind. It's also an Asian or Eastern dragon. Um, because of this slender snake aspect of it. And actually can also be considered, if it's a, a traditional sea dragon, can also be considered a Western dragon as well because the sailors would who'd go out and sail around like Christopher Columbus would run across these things and they wouldn't know what it is and 
they were actually the shape of an Eastern style dragon as well. Um, moving on. We yep. have uh, Enraged. Uh, Which I can confirm due to her previous video, this was done for Alexa Crisis on Google Plus. It needs green. That's all I gotta say. If, if it's gonna be marked for her, that's just because, yeah. Moving on to E E I of the Dreams. Uh, or e -E very interesting and creative with names and stuff for you know me. Most of these are each, they just turned fourteen at the time, and. Most of the stuff was done like 13, which to come up with names and ideas like this is phenomenal. That are there an A student in English and likes to read, you know, J. R. R. Token and Harry Potter and stuff like that. Yes. A lot of fantasy mindset behind it. The only thing I gotta say about this thing, it reminds me of the spitting frickin' the Dilos in, or the Dilo in Jurassic Park and Ark. I just wanna take a spear and poke it in the face so it doesn't spit on you. Oh yeah, everyone remembers that scene. That was probably one of the most iconic scenes of the first movie. I have to deal with those every time I play Ark. That may change the view. Thank you. Looks like we got a learning magic. It looks like, kind of like a red fox. Learning, trying to learn magic with a big giant book. Kind of reminds me of the book from uh, the Dimension in Skyrim in Dragon Form. Uh, the, um, uh, the Dimensions for. Uh, can't think of his name. His realm with the Mysterium Xarxes. And, if you know who I'm talking about, comment comment section down below. Um, I'll eventually think of it. Not because it's just tired, not brain dead, just tired. Next one is and that's some more dragons. Uh, a, some dark dragons and a light dragon. So kind of a yin and yang. Or a snake. Oh, two different styles. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Western and if that is a dragon, Western and Eastern. Just light and dark. It says just says unfinished. Next one is a fox. A little like uh, glasses around its neck. Kind of cool. And there's another one, I believe. It's a 30-minute doodle. It's a 20 minute doodle. It's a Sky Fox. 20 minutes! It took me 20 minutes to shade in something already pre made. Next one is. X is again. And the. Okay. I know what hit. I know what it is. I, I recognize it. What? I, I have a feeling this artist is very fond of the bubonic plague era. It reminds me of one of the bubonic doctors. Because they have the bubonic doctors used to wear the long trench coats and they used to have the the, uh, the mask, the long bird build mask. And they would go out, the plague doctors would go out and go, you're dead, or this is plague era. And then, yeah. And that's actually a great history lesson for people to research on their own time. Oh, I can get into it, I just don't want to. Yes, you heard it here. Very interesting history. Go look it up if you want to learn. Next one we have is a, in his natural habitat. It looks like a griffin. Kind of. An angel, dragon, feral in his habitat. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, a feral angel, dragon. Not often you see. You never see those. The well, feral version. It's of the not cute. And then the last one, Axius Symbiote. And is his the artist Sona utterly out of from the desert heat his symbiote the clothing which actually 
a plant-like symbiotic parasite has gone utterly mad. So yeah, it I, it it kind of goes back to the, what I just said of the um, the plague doctor. And then we'll go back to his journal or the artist journal page. Uh, let's look back the profile. There we go. Uh, so. Uh, it appears that recently became a digital artist, still beginning recently, addicted to anime as well. My favorite working colors are blue, green, black, purple, and red. Uh, utterly obsessed, which is about anything non-mammalian. So I prefer drawing such creatures, but still gladly draw regular furries as well. I am relatively new here, and also to digital arts, but it's fun, I guess. And oh, I recently opened for commissions. Prices depending on complexity range from about two dollars to twenty-five dollars. Not always. Also, I'm, oh, excuse me. Also, always happy to do trades. There you go. It's a little background into the person. And I've noticed with even having NSFW on or SFW on the commercials for artists are still technically <laughs> not safe for work. Lol. But I believe that's it. Um, again, the information for uh, Mortimer information will be in for their FA page along with their G Plus page because I believe you can get them there as well. It will be in the comment section down or dis not the comment section, description. Everybody does it. Everybody on YouTube calls it the comment section. The description will be there, so you'll be able to find them out and check their FA page and look at some of the artwork and maybe commission some artwork if you enjoy their style. Um, and if you're an artist and you want to do some trades, well, looks like he, uh, the person's open for trades too. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. All right, we, we will see you next time. And Meanwhile, have a lovely rest of the day, night, or whatever. Bye bye.